visit astlessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hi, so I'm Robert from AST Lessons. Today I'm going to show you how to play Love Don't Live Here Anymore with Sitting Color, which is written by Miles Gregory and originally performed by Rolls Royce. The main focus will be the MySpace transmission version, but I will also include a few things from the Sonic Session version. The key is C minor on the first, E minor on the second, and the tempo varies from 60 to 65. For more information, free papers, timestamps, etc., just read the description. Alright, so even if the main focus is the MySpace version, I will stay in regular tuning for this tutorial. The reason for this is simply that most of you will have your guitars in E tuning when watching this. So if you want to play with the same tuning as the Sonic Sessions, just skip to part 4. But if you do want to play it like on the MySpace transmission, I am now going to show you how to tune your guitar two whole steps down. And then you can just go back to this part after you learn the song. Okay, so the E string is tuned down to C. And the A string is tuned down to F. And the D string is tuned down to B flat. The G string is tuned down to E flat. And the B string is tuned down to G. And the high E string is tuned down to C. So that was an example of how those parts can sound like, playing straight chords without additions, and alternating between patterns I will explain later on. The LC paper for this song is written according to the MySpace version, and on the LC Plus paper, which looks like this, I have also added numbers after the chord names, telling you how many beats each is played for. As on most of my tutorials, I will use this paper on the slower demonstration. And now to the three chords, starting with E minor. I prefer to use this fingering. But you can also do it like this. Next we have a C with a G bass note, which I prefer to do like this. But you can also switch the ring finger and little finger and do it like this. And 
The last chord is A minor. One thing he does a lot is to muffle the E string on the A minor, which allows him to strum all the way across the strings. You do this by gently folding your thumb over it, like this. But since the E is in the A minor triad, it will sound okay if you don't want to, although you should at least try not to hit it. And then I also heard him replace the C slash G in the first round of the intro with the variation of C, like this. And if you want to keep it simple, you could also replace all the C slash G with the regular C. And now on to the strumming. I'm going to show you eight patterns he uses, and then you can decide which to use and when to use them. If you want to keep it simple, just choose one or two and stick to those. Okay, so this is how you read them. To be clear, he doesn't really play all the strings and all the strums, and he also accentuates some, but I decided to write it like this anyway, to not make it too complex. One thing you should keep in mind is that he often uses the last up strum to change chord like this. Number one. And slowly. Number two. slowly. Number three. And slowly. Number four. Slowly. Number five. And slowly. Number six. Slowly. Number seven. And slowly. Number eight. Slowly. So in the faster demonstration, I arranged the patterns as an example, but still did it depending on what I think sounds good. Now for the slower demonstration, I will play them in numerical order, more like a showcase.
Okay, so I am now going to demonstrate eight parts with addition C plays. The first six are from the MySpace transmissions, and the last two are from the Sonic sessions. I will play them one by one, first fast and then slow, and after that I will also show you an example of where we place it. All this is of course available on the T-Paper on the website.